for watching this video. I am going to show you how to create a client profile questionnaire. So we, you're going to go to Alyssa's Dropbox and search for the client profile card. Get it printed if you don't have one printed so you have it easily accessed. But this is a Google form. So if you notice up here, you go to docs.googleform.com. You can even search Google Forms. Um, I don't know if you have to have it, a Gmail account or a Google account or not. If you do, create one. This is totally worth it. So, so um, I'm going to just breeze through this really quick because it is so simple guys it's so simple okay so you're gonna add new form and if you notice right here you're going to have questions okay guys like I was saying questions and responses the responses are gonna be whenever you see people um, responding to your form I'm going ahead and titling the form right now um, and client profile questionnaire I feel like it's pretty simple pretty straightforward I asked people to fill out the text in detail then I'm going to go over to the right side and I'm going to um, show you how you can change up the look of your questionnaire if you want to, adding pictures if you want to. If you take one of their selected pictures, they'll actually change the entire format of your document, which is pretty cool. So everything is going to fit kind of seamlessly together. Here I'm changing up this, um, this is a very, basically the first question. So um, I want name, so they do first and last name. If you look to where I'm showing you off to the right how to change it, so the drop down menu, um, you'll notice you can change it to short answer. I made this required. I wanted them to absolutely tell me their name. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to add a question. Click the plus sign, add a question. The next question you're gonna go from is just in order of um, your document on your client profile card. Now I'm showing you how to upload a picture to this document if you want to. This picture was kind of random. <laughs> it was not intentional, but he's so cute. So we're gonna let that happen. Um, so you can upload an Arbon um, document picture if you want to. Another thing we're filling out here too is their email address. We're asking for more information. Again, if you notice, I made that required. Still clicking the plus sign off to the right to get more um, uh, questions added and nobody has a home phone so I do cell phone um, and then if you notice this next thing that I'm doing is is um, oh sorry I'm gonna add um, one more thing here and the next thing that I did was best time to contact this actually auto filled all of these for me except it made it multiple choice and I wanted check boxes so make sure you change and check some of those things so if they want to and let's see it's noticed all from the um, drop down menu there the bottom box uh, with the two bars is sections and this is my favorite thing because it can add um, a little extra um, clickage to your um, and it really it's it just helps it flow seamlessly and I'm going to show you what that looks like in a little bit but that is going to give you a new section so we're going to start with the skin concerns and so I sped this up so you guys wouldn't have to um, listen to me talk the whole time but also um, what I was typing in either Okay, so I created a new section. I titled it skin. Now I had to add a question. This is going to be um, your skin concerns. And then off to the right, you're going to create a checkbox again. Um, I made a mistake there, typed in sensitive skin, thinking it was a box, but no, this is a question. And then they're going to type in all the checkboxes. So we add all those things. Okay, guys, you can see here that I'm adding um, all just the simple details to the skin. The next section is going to be health and we are adding in details for that part. Um, this is going to be straight from the client profile card again. Um, if you notice, I added another section so it's another box that they're going to have to click next. Um, with the health concerns, again, you're going to do check boxes versus um, the, <clears throat> sorry, um, the, like a drop down menu or something like that. So. Um,
document and it's going to ask you to fill it out so you're actually going to be giving responses um, obviously I was just messing around putting in Jenny's number um, but you'll see how this document looks and feels for your clients okay so this is very simple if they're doing it on the computer I suggest it just because I like to be able to type on a computer versus something small but I'm going to show you in a second how they can get here um, and use this on their um, Phone. Okay, so let's really quick talk about responses. This is just two different ways. You can do a summary or you can do individual. Now we're going to talk about sending it to people. And I'm going to slow down the video a little bit. Alrighty, now that I've slowed it down just a bit, I want you to take a look here. I'm showing you how to do an HTML, which I don't prefer. That's just like a link some people can click on. You can embed it into your group presentations and that kind of thing. Um, this is, I clicked on the Facebook. Um, button at the top and I could choose to send it in a message which is a great option so if you see the little Facebook thing there what I'm also showing you is you can do via email this I highly suggest shortening the URL and sending it in a link as well so um, this I'm showing you that you can go back through and look at someone's individual responses so we're looking at Mary's individual responses and then we're looking at Sarah's, Sarah's instead of the group where it says summary so that's the difference there. Back to your document pages. Um, this is my actual personal one that I made. Sorry, I know this is so fast. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like for me. Um, I found these two images off of Arbonne's website using their media source. Um, or digital media toolkit. It's an incredible option for pictures. Alrighty y'all, that's the video. Let us know if you have any questions and go ahead and make your client profile questionnaire.